What's going on everybody? This is Liam from Teal and today we're going to talk about how to find remote jobs. Now finding a job that meets all your checkboxes is hard enough, let alone in a remote setting. And with lots more companies returning to office, those remaining remote jobs becoming more competitive to get, you want to make sure you're searching as wide and as intentionally as possible. So that's what we're covering today. We're going to go over three job boards today, how to find remote work on these boards, and then cover the best way to save these jobs with the Teal Chrome extension so you can stay organized in your search. Sound like a good time well then hit that like button subscribe for more job searching tips and let's get into it all right, so first thing to cover is just where to find remote jobs. Like I said, we're going to cover three job boards today, but it's important to note that whatever job it is that you are looking for, you want to use more than one board. And you want to use more than one because even if you look on somewhere like ZipRecruiter, uh, Glassdoor, you know, Google Jobs, these popular places, these can be really expensive places to list a job. A company might not do that. So the more job boards you use, the more likely it is that you'll actually come across that job that really fits what you're looking for. All right, let's hop into some job boards. First, on the list, we did want to show off a really popular job board. This is LinkedIn, if somehow you've never seen it. So first step to finding remote jobs, you want to obviously search for a job title. We just threw in marketing very generically right here. And you can see here we're getting 2.1 million results. And to find remote jobs, step one is if you go up here to location, you can actually search for remote and hit enter. Everything reloads and you can see we're already dropping down to 140,000 jobs. And what this is looking for is remote up here at the top of the job listing. And what this also does is it flips on the remote filter. This list of uh, tabs, I guess, up here at the top are the search filters. But if we rewind for just a second, you can see here we have United States in the location. If we go over here to the filters on site hybrid, if we check remote and hybrid, because why not? That is another way to do it. And then you just want to click show results. So the page will reload and you can start looking for jobs from here. And honestly, this first one right up here at the top for sake of an example for this video looks great. A product marketing manager with PayPal. And what you want to do at this point is just make sure that the company is defining remote in the way that you're looking for. Unfortunately, different companies do define remote work differently. Sometimes it's, you know, remote in the country. Sometimes it's remote specific to a city. So if we scroll down towards the bottom of the job description, we're looking for something about work environment. So this paragraph right here, we have great benefits, including a flexible work environment. This paragraph here isn't specifying any kind of state that you need to be in for remote work. So this is seemingly uh, United States across the board. And the next step from here is saving the role so we can stay organized. So fly out the teal Chrome extension. This is actually the refreshed and updated version of the tool. Of course, we have the title, company and location, compensation information, which can now be manually edited if it's not showing up in the job description. Right below that, excitement, we're going to give it five stars. You can change the stage of the job status before you actually save. And then right here from from the extension, you can see the top five hard skills. And if we click see all keywords, because we have Teal Plus, we get all the keywords, which is super cool. So that's just a quick uh, update tour. But we want to save this job to stay organized. So right here at the bottom, we're going to click save job. Now, moving right along, up next on the list is we work remotely. And they do have a bit more of, um, I, I guess I'll say, a difficult way to find work. So the first step is right up here on the top right, this little magnifying glass tool. You'll click it. And then this bar right here, that's where you can type in the title you're looking for. Let's go ahead and just look for marketing. Once again, we're going to hit enter. Go to the next page and this is where you'll find the list of jobs now you'll see the advanced search filters here on the right and you'll notice that there isn't one for specifying remote or not remote and that's because thankfully most of the jobs that you'll see are remote on we work remotely if we look at some of these right here you can see this one is a full-time job anywhere in the world full-time job north america only full-time anywhere in the world so that's really cool one place you can specify even further is by region and time zone so you can go to regions let's go us only because that's where teal is based and we're going to start to look for a job customer success manager that's pretty nice full-time us only let's click into it and once again we want to make sure that prisms of reality is defining remote remote work in the way that we like. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. Looks like there's no information about that, but let's see here at the top time zones. It looks like they're good with any time zone in the US. You don't need to be necessarily East Coast or West Coast or Central. So from here, we are good to save. Let's fly out the Teal Chrome extension once more. You can see here remote customer success manager. This one, the compensation was not pulled into the tool. But if we go back to the job description, you can see here that 100,000 or more. This is a filter from WeWork remotely that's applied to this job. So at the very least, we can say a minimum of 100,000. And because we don't know maybe how high it'll go, we can also just match the value here and hit update and there we go our compensation has been updated and we can hit save job 
Now, moving on to job board number three, another really popular site. This is Indeed, and it's just going to be a good visual for showing how to look for remote work specifically. So what you want to do up here at the top where you search for your job title, we're just going to go ahead and throw in marketing once again. And then on the where, we can start by hitting remote. Let's go ahead and search for those jobs, and that's going to bring up pass number one of specifying down to remote work. However, just like LinkedIn, we have a number of filters here at the top, one of which is the remote filter. So we can click on that and specify remote work. And just like before, let's go ahead and save a job that looks interesting. Let's see, marketing developer here with motivated leads. I like that. We're going to click on that and then just make sure that once again, the company is defining remote in a way that we like. If we're going down to the bottom, work location, remote, they don't specify anything further. So that is totally good with us. Let's fly out the teal Chrome extension. Title and company, compensation is being pulled from the job description. We like that. So let's scroll down to the bottom and hit save. Now let's keep going with this job because we do want to touch on job search organization. If we click view job post in tracker here, you can see we've brought up the job description in the teal job tracker. If we back out of this job, you can see that we have all of our saved jobs here in an awesome looking dashboard. And let's go back into marketing developer. You can see here, if you're looking at a job in the tracker, you have these tabs up here at the top. You can see here our marketing developer position is in bookmarked because that's all we've done with it. But once we move on to applying, we can hit that. The tool will flip over to some new pages. Guidance will give you some suggestions on what to do during this stage. And then once we've applied, we can set it to applied. If you do these steps for the jobs that you save, this is just going to keep you organized. There's going to be less to remember in your head because you can just look at, okay, this job, this company, this salary, where's the status? Oh, I've applied to this job. Awesome. If you're working on your resume, you can head to the resume builder. You can save a number of them. And then if you click into them, all of it is saved right here, making it really easy just to stay in one tool, work on your resume, look at the jobs you've saved and read the job descriptions. And it's a great, just all in one tool for your job search. But that was just a bit about the teal end of the job search. Go Going back to finding remote jobs, because that's what this video is about, what we really wanted to emphasize is just the different ways that you can find remote work. Obviously, we only touched on three. There are a number out there. If you head to the Career Hub and check out this article, you can find the other eight that we recommend for the best sites for looking for remote work. And again, what we wanted to emphasize is just the ways that you can search on these sites. So no matter what site you're looking on, you want to search for remote in the location, use the search filters and see if there's an option here for remote work, and then read the job description to make sure that for the job you're looking at, the company is defining remote work in the way that works for you. But that is going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, y'all. We hope you learned something. If you did, like the video, subscribe for more job searching content, check out the Teal platform. We hope your job search is going well. If you have any questions or comments for us, please hit us down in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer. And until next time, take care.